It's been a crazy opening day morning. As soon as I got up, I could see the rams are all bedded down right over here. And I start looking around, and those, those sheep are like 300. And then I start really looking around, and I see a ram at 100 yards. It's the ram that we want to take at 100 yards, bedded down beside the tent. It's not what we expected opening morning. So we've basically sat for how many hours? Two or three hours, I think. Yeah. And then the rain somewhat lets up, and then this cloud rolls in. <laughs> so what turned out in the morning to be such, oh my goodness, this is like unbelievable. We could have literally shot him from the tent. We could have taken him from the tent, <laughs> but we wouldn't have got it on film. So that was right after 350 yards. So let's, let's back out of here back this way. We'll go out and around. We'll check and see. But I think the big one is still over here. So we might have to backtrack and come at it this way. But we got to get out of here without getting detected. The wind has always been in our favor, so that's great. One ram right over there, out away from all the rest. If we go around that way, he's got full view of us and we can't see the rest of them. So let's go back around here, go a little bit lower and see if we can pick up those rams where he was. If that doesn't work, if we see a couple small ones, we're just gonna have to wait it out. Wait till they move, get up and feed and move. That's all we can do right now, I think. Cloud's got to come back in. I think they all moved out of the wind, just on the leeward side. Once that heavy rain started, they probably just kind of slowly made their way over there. They were all down in here before. I just want this guy to move over the ridge and then we can come around. There's a lot of eyeballs out there and I can only see one or two of the sheep, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> if we try to sneak in there, we're probably going to blow them out. We just need to get on the top of that hill and just sit down and just wait till they walk up. Because they're all bedded down right now. Because you can't, you can only see a few. I can only see the three tops of their horns bedded down. I expect that they're all right there. That's a complete turn of events. Yeah. We're just walking back to put a stock on these ones over here. Those two sheep walked out of there. Yeah, it's crazy. I almost like dismissed it. Okay, not gonna worry about it. Yeah. And then I put the glass on it and went, whoa. <laughs> That's a big, big ramp. So we're gonna change gears. But he's a thousand yards he's away. A thousand yards away. Could be any more open right now. Yeah. Awesome. Like an hour ago, you couldn't see barely 20 feet in front of you, and now visibility is good. The sun's coming out, the sky's clearing up, so it's a good sign. 
we're gonna be on top of them. Wind is perfect. So just stay, stay close and just watch my hand and we'll make this happen. Well, if we go up here, they're gonna hear us. We gotta go, we could go back there and see if we can see them. So we blew the last stalk. I don't exactly know what happened. I think we were, um, well, we were pretty close to them, but um, I was down position to shoot. It was terrible position. <laughs> Rocks in my guts and stuff. Um, but anyways, they got away from us. So now we're gonna circle the top of the mountain and see if we can find them, but um, yeah, it is kind of like adventure racing a little bit. There's a lot of highs and then a lot of lows, and now we're in a little bit of a low again. But um, I'm sure we'll find them again. Just gotta keep going. I'm gonna go down into the cliffs and take a look right here. say. Man, I screwed that up. For whatever reason, I thought they were way lower than, than, than they were. We just got to circle the top of this thing, make sure they're not on the top, and then, you know, we can go down and literally circumnavigate this mountain.
There's a rock right in front of him. You're gonna have to hit him a little bit high. You hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. He, you got him good, honey. You got him good. He's fine. You got him good. He ran away. He's done. <sighs> That's stressful. I feel like an adrenaline dump. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, you got in there. <laughs> That's him. Hold it right on him and shoot again. Two sixty. Yeah, he's moving fine. So, Shot was high. Yeah. Higher than we'd like. He's run downhill and he's just crossed the basin and we're just gonna go get him. I gotta take some heat for that. Well, I was pulling the trigger. <laughs> he's done, but it's just, yeah, he's just, still moving. That's not the shot that obviously I wanted. I told you to aim a little bit high and we're under a hundred yards and I shouldn't have told you that. The reason I told you to aim high is because there was a rock there in front of him. I didn't want you to hit the rock. It was still on zero for 200. I didn't compensate that it was actually going to shoot high at 100 anyways. Right. I aimed a little higher. Let's go finish it. Yeah, let's go get him. It's not where we want to be, but I've been not where I've wanted to be a lot of times in my life. That's our ram, and now it doesn't matter if it takes 10 days. This was my worst case scenario, that I hit it and didn't finish the job. Well, you're gonna finish the job. I mean, quickly. We need to dig deep here, and we need to check every angle on this mountain. We'll get out on there and then we'll pick it apart. That's a sheep down there. That's him for sure? Yep. That's far. 470. This is not gonna be pretty. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. That was insane. Oh my God, the sheep almost took us out. I didn't think he was gonna stop, to be honest with you. Oh. Oh. I'm so proud of you, that was awesome. I don't think he's going to be pretty. <laughs> he's pretty. He's huge. <laughs> well, let's go check him out. Uh, 
He's amazing, honey. He's an oldie. He is old. I'm just glad we found him. Well, you found him. He's a nice one. I don't know that much about sheep, but I think he's a big one. And he's got some heavy bases. <laughs> he's, he does have See, some... See, I'm picking up on the sheep lingo. Yeah, yeah, he does have some heavy bases, and he's old. How old do you think he is? Well, uh... Could be 11, he's 100% 10. Yeah, that's an old sheep. That's the ram we want to take off the mountain. Yeah. It's been 10 years since we've hunted together. I know, yeah, it's crazy. How do you feel like 10 years later after you know, you've taken two sheep before, this is number three. How is the experience now compared to say 10 years ago? I just kept thinking a lot actually about adventure racing in the fact of the highs and the lows. Like you have those moments when the excitement, when like when we got out of the tent this morning and we saw the rams, that's like we're getting into a checkpoint, right? And then we can't find the ram and then when I made the bad shot, it was just these ups and downs and had that sort of emotional feeling like, you know, when you've messed something up, but then it was like, okay, just don't focus on that. Focus on there's a job ahead of you and don't think about what if we don't find them and what if, what if, what ifs, right? And just try to block that in my head and just be like, we're gonna find them, but I know Greg will find them. He's on these mountains somewhere and Greg will find them and we'll get another chance. So yes, yeah, so I was very similar actually to racing. You know, very similar like to adventure racing. Checkpoints. Yeah, navigated in the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah. And, and it's just actually just nice to be out here. We don't have time, a lot of time anymore to do this kind of stuff, right? Life gets busy and just to be out focusing on what you're doing and not thinking about whatever, work and... That's a big part of why I escape from the real world, you know, to do these kind of things probably as much as I do. And when the world takes a turn and provides us an opportunity to get back out together again, it was, and we couldn't have done it in a, in a more, maybe our style, our fashion. <laughs> After killing that ram, we hiked up the mountain back toward our camp. We left the sheep in the gully, no concerns about that. There certainly isn't any predators going up there to, <laughs> to take our sheep on us, that's for sure. And we're starting to lose daylight, so with a little bit of rain, and it made sense to just leave it there. So now we're going to go down to the bottom of here, drop our bags, and then go get the ram, and then come back and get everything? Yep. Okay. And then all the way out. Okay. As we figured going down what we came up last night. Yeah, I didn't want to go down there. With full packs would be challenging. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. This is way better. That was a recipe for root rockfall disaster. It's just getting in and out as safe as we possibly can, and that's the best plan. Drop the packs right here. By these, this timber, we'll be able to tell exactly where they are. So we'll drop our stuff and then head up to get them? Yeah. Coming into this hunt, how did you expect it was gonna go? And how did you expect it was gonna end? I was not anticipating the kind of shots we had. I was anticipating a lot more waiting and a lot more getting in position and stuff. So yeah, I just kind of didn't have it in my mind how dynamic it can be and how kind of quick it can happen. I thought usually you guys wait and wait and wait. You lay around waiting to shoot. That's what I was trained <laughs> Some, for. Sometimes we do, but <laughs> this, was a, this was a unique situation, this one. This is why I love sheep hunting. You get to look at this amazing view, one of the most picturesque places on the planet. And you get to work hard for an amazing trophy, and you get to do it with great friends. It's been a pretty spectacular journey. If it was easier, it wouldn't really feel like you earned it, I think. So another part of coming out here that I was looking forward to is Greg's so passionate about hunting and just to be able to sh uh, share that with him and um, you know just know a little bit more what he experiences um, because he's gone basically for three months in the mountains hunting and um, it's just nice to be able to do that together and have a little bit of a piece of that and have a little bit of understanding of, of what he does and why he loves it so much.